Hey y'all, this is Billy and Kendra from Perma Pastures Farm. Check out this orchard. Here we are, and it's not ours. We are in another spot, right? <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't home yet. Ours isn't ready, and what you hear in the background is little Charlotte, Justin's daughter, and we got the other daughter out here too. And she's over there checking out some stuff. <laughs> anyway, folks, we're gonna talk about what you can do to really supplement your food. And right now in, these, in this day and age, I don't have to tell anybody out there the cost to feed and where it's going. So we just got back from the Back to the Land Festival last night and I'm still tired. But I came out to this orchard hoping and praying that they had my favorite apple, which is a, what is it? It's not a honey crisp, it's an ever crisp. Well, I also came out here to get, if you hear a lot of noise in the background, folks, there's a lot going on around us. But I mean, here we are in this orchard. I just spoke to the owner a little bit ago. And I asked, I said, hey, and he remembered me from last year. I said, hey, do you mind if we go ahead and pick up the apples that are on the ground? And he's just like halfway blown away. Like, yeah, dude, help yourself, knock yourself out. Because it's something that he doesn't have to hire anybody to do. Now folks, here we are in, there's over a hundred acres overall not only here, but all the way around here of apples, apples, apples. Now it's a monocrop. Okay, I'll give you that. And of course, to a certain extent, there's been some spring, there's also that. But if you're wanting to find a way to mitigate your food costs for your omnivores, folks, right here is it. This is a half bushel bag. There's a bee. I'm sorry? There's a bee in there. Oh, there's a bee? Okay, yeah, she ain't about to let me kill this bee by accident. <laughs> So Kendra, Kendra's out here. Oh, there you are. Hi. So there she is. There's the other little niece. This is Charlotte. This is Justin's daughter and you're a big help, aren't you? Yeah. Are you gonna help us pick up some yeah. apples? Of course she is. She's so excited. Well, we got her some apple donuts. Not only are we having a pretty cool outing with uh, Justin's kids, my family. We're also, it's a party with a purpose and there's no reason you can't do that. You can come out in a place like this Good job, sweetheart. Have a picnic, do all kinds of stuff, go get some apple donuts. But hey, at the same time, I can fill up that entire truck just like I did last year, several times. I could be out here honestly with about, let's say there was 50 other people doing the same thing I'm doing and I still wouldn't even knock a dent in it. And by and large, oh yeah, Miss Wanda sent this down. Um, and you're getting to play with it, right? Yeah, I'm getting to play with Trombo. Trumbo? Uh -huh. Is that his name? Yeah. Is, do you love him? Which I one do you love more? That one or the real bull? Yeah. Oh, you like him better? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, she can cuddle him. <laughs> anyway, folks, in just a matter of literally three to five minutes, I filled up this half bushel bag and he said I could take as much as I want. Now, a little side note, there was a little issue last year and you may run into this depending on where you are. I'm not gonna tell you where I, where I am. Um, he at least asked that I do that much. But last year there was an issue where okay. there was another guy out here getting food for his animals as well. And a lady came by, asked if he was being paid. And he said no. And of course not her not knowing the whole story. She goes and calls the law, they come out here. And so the owner here, who wishes to remain nameless, asked that I didn't reveal the place because honestly the police came out here or whomever the powers that shouldn't be were came out and gave this guy a hard time because he was allowing people to come out, pick up apples off the ground to feed to their stock. If that isn't absurd, I don't know what is. So I guess to a certain extent, I guess you have to be discreet. Like I said, I'm not giving you the name of this place, but we're gonna go out here, we're gonna spend, and of course, I'm gonna be back here several times in this season. So not only are we gonna pick and fill these bags up, we're gonna come back several more times. In fact, I'll probably fill up literally the bed of my truck probably four or five times before it's all said and done. I'll be a blessing to the owner here. Like I said, it's it's doing work he doesn't have to do. And at the same time, feeding my animal, my stocks. Like I said, the chickens and the pigs will lose their minds over what I got here. So, what do you think? We get after it? Get it. All right, so we already got some Nittany uh, apples. What else did we get? Fuji. We got Fuji. We got uh, Nittany? Nittany? But yeah, I can't remember what they were exactly. But my beautiful niece, look look at her go. She's out there getting it done. Look at that. We're gonna go out here, we're gonna knock this out, we're gonna fill up a few bags a couple of times, just dump them in the back of the truck and that's gonna be a wrap. So let's get to it. 
Throw my bag, sweetie. You are good YouTube, you know that? All right, y'all, here we go. So just in a matter of minutes, honestly, I think we got the equivalent of what must have been around. Tempo. Ah, uh, shoot. I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of about four trees and we got two bushels. These are half bushel bags. So, I mean, it, literally in minutes. So when I come back here and I fill up the back of my truck, probably four or five times before this season's all said and done, how many, how many pigs, how many chickens do you think we will feed when it's all said and done? Charlotte, what do you think? We're gonna feed a lot of pigs and chickens? You think so? Yeah. <laughs> She's a little sweetie. I mean, yes. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So we're gonna fill up a whole lot, folks. And you know, it doesn't have to just be an apple orchard. You can do this all year long. Let's say you got a place that's doing pears. They do exclusively apples here, but let's say it's pears. Well, go out in pear season. Now, nobody's just gonna give away blueberries, so good luck on that score. But honestly, think outside the box because we get so much of what it is. I mean, think of how many times you can stack a function. We come out here, hang out together, fellowship, have fun, hang out. But honestly, do that, spend time with my friends and family, and um, I can't think of anything better. And a beautiful day to boot. So, isn't that cool? Isn't that right, Charlotte? Yeah, right. That's right. So, hey, y'all, we're, um, we're gonna load these up. We're gonna probably go hit another orchard down the way. Um, just briefly, they got more, um, what, what we call, I guess they would be, they're kind of old timey apples, like stuff that actually came from Thomas Jeff, the, the stuff that Jefferson and the Founding Fathers grew. It's a really cool orchard that has that kind of stuff over there. Um, so we're going to check, maybe check that out briefly, get a few more apples, and then guess what? I'll be back here probably once a week until it's all said and done. So y'all, until next time, this is Billy and the gang from Permit Pastures Farm, and where me. permaculture is my passion. Isn't that right, Charlotte?